الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله from the pearls of tafsir from the jewels of tafsir and from the great benefits uh, of patience and why we need to encourage one another towards patience وتواصل بالحق وتواصل بالصبر and inviting and encouraging to the truth, calling to the truth and calling and practicing and encouraging patience so the believer encourages his or her brother towards patience because the world is full of trials and tribulations and it's full of struggles and disappointments and the affair of the believer, all of it is good. And when he is harmed, he is patient. That's the movement, and that's what we want to achieve. So I encourage myself first and foremost, and my brothers and sisters in Islam. And this is a beautiful statement. This comes from the tafsir of Imam Sa'adi, rahmatullah He said in the tafsir of the verse where Allah Azza wa Jal says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِصَبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِصَبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ And rely on patience and prayer. This is the affair of the mu'min. And when we analyze that, وَاسْتَعِينُ بِسَبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ If you were to advise somebody that, and they took that really to heart, when they're sad, when they're going through struggle, when they're disappointment, when they're in conflict, that is a principle to strengthen the heart and to benefit the soul and raise up the individual and bring them closer to Allah but closer with comfort in this life if someone said this to you you just were divorced as a sister sister divorced a brother who loses his family through death uh, the mother who loses her child whatever the case may be the person who loses their wealth because we believe in the ghayb, we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we've never seen him. We've never seen Allah We read about the Prophet and we try to follow his sunnah. We haven't seen him, we weren't blessed like the Sahaba. So we believe as the mu'mineen, as a, a sifat of the mu'mineen, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, Alif Lam Meem, Thalik Al-Kitab Allah Rayba Fee Hudin Lil Muttaqeen, Alladheena Yu'minoon Bil Ghayb. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Alif Lam Meem Thalik Al-Kitab Allah Rayba Fee This is a book in which there is no Thalik uh, In which there is no doubt Alladheena yu'minuna bil ghayb Those people who believe in the ghayb Alif Lam Meem Thalik Al-Kitab Allah Rayba Fee Hudin Lil Muttaqeen It's a guidance for the, the pious It's a guidance for the God-fearing Hudin Lil Muttaqeen Alladheena Yu'minuna Bil Ghayb Those who believe in Ghayb So Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala explained Who are the Muttaqeen there He, he explained this characteristic First he said Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala That this is a book Which contains no doubt Don't have doubt in the Quran Unlike some of the people who even call to the Qur'an and call to the Sunnah and call to other things but then they express doubt in the, in the Qur'an or in some aspect of the Qur'an وَاللَّهُ مُسْتَعَانْ وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains who those people are Who are the muttaqeen that are having, that are finding comfort in the Qur'an, that believe in the Qur'an those who believe in the ghayb they believe in the unseen we haven't seen the angels we haven't seen the jinn we haven't seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
We haven't seen that world. We haven't seen Abu Barzakh. We haven't seen hell, Jahannam. We haven't seen Jannah. But we believe in it. So that's the characteristic of the Mu'mineen. And they are also the same ones. Going back to the original verse that we're looking at, they are the ones who seek refuge, seek assistance. It's the ana, they seek help with sabr, with patience, with salat, and, 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 and prayer. And may Allah bless us to be of them. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen, we have to make the changes in our lives. I know I need to make the change in my life. And so I'm inviting my brothers and sisters to do the same. I'm calling to good, and I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us with tawfiq to do those things. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that these believers, they seek help to comfort their souls, to comfort themselves for the hereafter with prayer and uh, patience. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرُتٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ And verily, that is something great, I mean, something like, something difficult, except except for those who are who are humble who have khushur who have comfort in their heart because of their love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kathrata ibadah their focus on Allah azza wa jal Imam Sa'di said about this ayah about this verse amruhum Allah and yasta'inu fi umurihim kulliha bi sabri bi jami'an wa'iha bi jami'an wa'ihu he said rahmatullah he said Allah has commanded them to seek assistance seek help in all of their affairs all of it kullu he said fi umurihim in their affairs kullaha all of it be sabr with patience. Be jami'anwa'ihi. In every type of uh, every, every type of patience. Then he began to break it down. Some of the types of patience as mentioned by the Salaf, by as mentioned by Ibn al-Qayyum and those before him from the Salaf al Salih. He said, Wahuwa sabr ala ta'atillah hatta yu'diha. And it is patience in obedience to Allah, even if it, it harms them, even if it's difficult. It's difficult. Being patient is difficult. You want to be married. You want to enjoy what a married couple does, having relations, but it's difficult to find a good sister. It's difficult to find a good brother. Patience on ta'atillah, meaning that you refrain from Allah, I'll be frank, masturbation. You refrain from pornography. You refrain from having a boyfriend. You refrain from zina and all those things. That's sabr ala ta'atillah. That means that they're having difficulty, but they're patient. They're putting their trust in Allah. That's difficult. It is difficult. May Allah help us. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa huwa sabr ala ta'atillah hatta yu'diha. The second was sabr. The second is being patient on ma'asiyatillah until you leave it. So this has to do with being patient regarding the sin. Being patient by, by, by leaving sin. The first was being patient and obedient. So that also that, that sabr ala ta'atillah, which was the first one, is patience and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning that you're going, you're being patient to do the right thing, to do the good, to do the wajib, fulfilling your duties. You have to pray. All, all Muslims have to pray. I know it's difficult at school, it's difficult at your job, it's difficult to get Jumu'ah off for the men, it's difficult for this, it's difficult for that. But patience, ala ta'atila, they're patient. It's difficult to get up and go to the masjid for Fajr for the men. It's cold here where I am now. Sabr ala ta'atillah. That's patience 
in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we said, Sabr ala ma'asiyatillah. Sabr an ma'asiyatillah. Patience in being away from uh, uh, sinfulness and leaving it. That's difficult. Sometimes you're involved in such a sin. Some people, they, they love weed and they just find it as a comfort. They love music and they love they love that jazz. They love to sit back and, and relax to some cool jazz or some, some, some hip hop to get them hyped or whatever the case it may be. They love that. It comforts them. It makes them feel good. But patience in leaving it. Ouch, it hurts a little bit. Let me leave the jazz. I can't do it. Let me leave that hip hop. I can't, I, 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 you know, I got to leave the park. Sabr ala ma'asiyatillah. The third type of patience was sabr ala aqdarillah. And patience with the decree of Allah. This is very difficult as well. Because our life is going, you're going through life. And things don't happen how we, we want them to. You lose your mother. You lose your father. You lose your child. You bury your child. Recently, my grandmother, she lost her last child. My grandmother on one side of my family. She lost her last child, her last son. It's going to bury him. All the children. She saw witness all of her children dying. So for the mu'min, a sabr, being patient on the with the decree of Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Verily, inna lillahi, verily to Allah we came. Wa ilayhi raji'un. And to him we shall return. That's what the mu'min says when a masiba hits them. As the Prophet والسلام, said in an authentic narration. So that's not easy for us. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal by all His divine attributes. And it's Him, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, who's above His throne, who's above His creation and separate from His creation. Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, we ask Him and we beg Him to forgive us, to guide us, to give us ikhlas with the that, and bless us to be patient in all of those forms of patience, to please Him, and bless us with Jannah to Firdaus, and help the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, raise them up so they can set the proper example for the rest of mankind. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.